Joining us now is Don Trump Jr. How are, you, how are you? I'm doing well. Yourself? All right. So Frank Lunds gave Hillary the first debate, your father in the next two. And those Lunds focus groups are pretty accurate, undecided voters. Yep. How did you feel about tonight? Uh, I agree with him. I mean, I think we did great. I think he was able to highlight issues. He was able to talk about issues. He's able to talk about her failed track record. You know, he's right. She's been doing this for 30 years. Why haven't any, all of a sudden, she's got all these magical plans. Well, where, are they, where were they before? This isn't rocket science. Every time my father has talked about something, everyone jumps, they react, right? He talks about TPP. He brings up our terrible trade deals. All of a sudden, everyone flips and they say, oh, well, no, you, he, he's right. He talks about NATO and how it's been outdated and how it needs to adjust. Two weeks later, NATO comes and says, well, you're right. Now we're going to talk about terrorism and we're going to react accordingly. How come the outsider, the builder from New York, how come he has to be the guy that brings this up. Well, and it, everyone reacts. All these corporate politicians. No, but it is. Nothing. You know, she's become a multi, multi millionaire since on playing on her, yeah. her job. And, you know, your dad's probably losing a lot of money and opportunity costs and all of this. So he's lost a lot of money in this and paying his own way. You know what? He doesn't need this job, Sean. He doesn't need this job. He wants to do this job because he wants to give everyone in America, all ethnicities, all backgrounds, the same incredible opportunity that he was able to have to start a great family, to start a business, to live the American dream. And that's gone. And you know why it's gone? Because people in D.C., people in D.C. who've never had these jobs, they've never done any of these things. They get promised things. They make donations, so they get jobs, and they get high positions in government. We've seen that. Okay? They get deals in Haiti because they donated the Clinton Feather. That's so bad, right? They take that money, they take that money, they squander it, they put it in their pockets, they land it, the people in Haiti are saying, what happened? What happened? Where are the things that we, you know, where's the $10 billion? They don't know. It's disgusting. And that's what's got to stop it. So I think my father had a great thing yesterday when he said, it's time to drain the swamp in D.C. That was the number one trending issue on Twitter. Let me ask you this, because I think this is important. We've had two tapes now come out. Uh, I just saw James O'Keefe in the crowd here a moment ago. We had two tapes come out. One shows that money coming directly from the Clinton campaign, funneled through the DNC, funneled through democracy, whatever, right into the hands of agitators fomenting violence, going back as far as Chicago against your father, and a huge, massive voter fraud scheme that they put into works. This, to me, is really hasn't even resonated with the American people yet. No, it hasn't, and it has to get out there. I mean, and that's part of what he was talking about today, okay? We'll accept a fair result, but we're not going to accept something when they say, we've been doing this for 50 years, we've been busting, we don't play by the rules. The rules only apply to conservatives, apparently, or maybe we're the only ones with the morals to be able to actually comply by them. You know, this stuff's coming out. This isn't pretend. This is undercover video. That's that James O'Keefe right over there that did the video. Yeah. He did a great job, and I think, yeah. you listen, he's doing the American people a great service by highlighting this, because everyone thinks, oh, the system's so honest. No way they would do this. He's seen it at the highest. Hey, can you imagine it? I've been to the White House 350 times doing this. Met with the president 47 times, and and they're saying, oh, this never happens. I mean, yesterday Obama's saying this never happens. Trump should stop whining. It happened. A couple hours later. Could you imagine if your father was on tape funding the fomenting of violence? Could you imagine if it was your father or operatives within your father's campaign talking about a massive voter fraud scheme? Sean, they would run him out of the country, and that's the problem. The double standard that exists between the liberals and the conservatives is disgusting and it has to be highlighted so I think James did a great job of being able to highlight that to be able to show the American people and everyone should go look at Project Veritas and see what happened because if you look at it as an American and I don't care which side of the spectrum on you're on but if you look at it as an American as a human okay and you're not totally disgusted there's something wrong with you the last thing and I've been asking everybody tonight the same question there are deep and profound differences that we saw on that stage tonight starting with the Supreme Court, saying radical Islam or not, vetting refugees or not, building a wall or not, raising taxes, lowering taxes, eliminating Obamacare, fixing the educational system, energy independence. These are deep, profound differences. Do you think the American people understand the degree to which this is a massive choice election? Well, you know, I think they do. The problem is, if you're a Hillary voter, which Hillary are they voting for? Are they voting for the <laughs> private Hillary or are they voting for the public Hillary? Well, no, no. It's out there. There's two different standards. Oh, no, no. She said it. And then she said it's okay. So which one are they voting for? I don't know, but I have a feeling I know the answer. I have a feeling it's to the people that are writing seven-figure checks to her campaign. It's to the people who gave Bill Clinton a million-dollar birthday gift from the Middle East. By the way, no. That was, that was Cutter. Do you know in Cutter, this is interesting, women, marital rape is legal in Cutter? 
marital beatings are legal in Saudi Arabia? Double standard. Sean, if we took money from those countries, what would they be saying? They'd be screaming. Oh, it's a double standard, and I'm glad to say screaming bloody hell. I'll say it for you. Go ahead. Yeah. Screaming bloody hell. And that's true. And, and much worse. Okay, but it's a double standard that people have grown to accept in this country. And that's what we got to point out. We can't accept that anymore. It's not fair, and it shouldn't happen. All right, last question. I, I was with you and a bunch of young millennials yeah. today. And when I mentioned the idea, hey, is Don Jr. one day going to run? Oh, Wait a minute. I, thought I saw a standing ovation. Well, listen, it'd be an honor to maybe do that someday. Right now, my only objective is to get him in there because I want to fix the mess that is D.C. I want to help him implement those policies that are going to bring jobs back to this country. I want to help him implement the policies that are going to put term limits on these guys that are going to prevent people in highest levels of government going and lobbying for other countries to suck American dollars into those countries. I want to fight for the people of this country, and that's what my father's been doing from day one. The hardworking men and women who built this country, they need a voice again, and my father's their voice. Don Jr., good to see you.